The Useful Space Principle, or USP, was first articulated in a series of six articles in the Bridge World, from November 1980 through April 1981. The International Bridge Press Association awarded its 1981–1982 award for Best Article or Series on a System or Convention to Jeff Rubens for this series. The USP is expressed succinctly in the Bridge World Glossary as a partnership's assigning meanings to actions so that the remaining bidding space matches the needs of the auction." The articles on the USP were the genesis of widely used conventional methods such as kickback and transfer advances of overcalls. The USP tells bidding theorists that bidding space should be allocated where it is most needed. Topic. A USP example, kickback The Blackwood Convention, as originally formulated, violates the USP. Suppose that the agreed Trump suit is spades. After the Blackwood asker bids for NT, teller can convey four separate messages without bypassing the safety level of five spade suit four aces or none with five club suit, one ace with five diamond suit, two aces with five heart and three aces with five spade suit. But what if the agreed trump suit is clubs? Suppose that asker and teller each have one ace. Then, after 4 NT, Teller bids 5 diamond suit to show his ace, and the partnership has to play 6 club suit off 2 aces or possibly 5 NT, which could be worse than 6 club suit, if it has the machinery. The problem can also occur when the agreed trump suit is diamonds, although it is less likely because there is more space available for responses than when the agreed trump suit is clubs. But if the partnership is using Roman key card Blackwood there can be similar problems. Suppose that hearts is agreed, Asker has one ace and Teller has one ace plus the king and queen of hearts. Asker bids 4 NT and Teller bids 5 spade suit to show 2 key cards plus the trump queen, and the partnership is again too high. The problem is that Blackwood ignores the USP. The lower in rank the agreed trump suit, the more space that is needed if the partnership is to stay at or below a safety level. The kickback ace asking convention deals with the problem by adjusting the asking bid according to which suit is agreed as trump. The ask is always one step above four of the trump suit. So, if clubs is agreed, the ask is four diamond suit, if diamonds is agreed, four heart asks, if hearts, four spade suit, and if spades, four nt. The responses to the ask might be similar to Blackwood, but instead of associating a specific suit with a specific number of aces, the responses are in terms of the number of steps above the ask. If spades will be trump, 4 NT is the ask, and then 5 club suit, 1 step, might show 0 or 4 aces, according to partnership agreement. If diamonds will be trump, 4 heart is the ask, and then 4 spade suit, 1 step above the ask, might show 0 or 4 aces. The effect is to allocate bidding space where it is most useful in the context of the convention. If clubs is agreed and each partner has one ace, asker bids four diamond suit and teller bids four spade suit to show one ace. The partnership can now easily sign off in five club suit. There is a cost, of course, the partnership that plays kickback loses the ability to cue bid the ace of the suit above trumps. That is, assuming that hearts will be trumps, Asker can no longer bid four spade suit to show first round control of spades, that would be the kickback asking bid. The solution is to use four NT to show a first round control in the kickback asking suit. With diamonds agreed, four heart is the kickback ask, and four NT shows the heart A or, if credible in the context of the prior bidding, avoid. The agreement that 4 NT is a Q bid still entails a cost, but kickback users argue that there is a net gain. 
For example, with clubs agreed, South would bid 4 NT to show a first round control in diamonds. This bid not only bypasses the kickback ask for diamond suit, but also prevents North from Q bidding for heart or for spade suit. Kickback users believe that the gain in space from adjusting the ace ask outweighs getting in the way of partner's Q bid. Notice that the Gerber convention, the use of four club suit to ask for aces when NT is the likely final strain, is really a special case of kickback. Note also that the foregoing is meant only to illustrate the USP. It describes neither additional understandings that kickback can accommodate, nor the special problems that can arise for example, the question of which is the agreed Trump suit. The USP at lower levels, transfer responses to overcalls Suppose that North opens a strong NT, North-South are playing Jacoby transfers, and South holds spade suit KQ 965 heart 6 diamond suit 8752 club suit 854. South bids 2 heart, hoping to pass North's 2 spade suit. But South would also bid 2 heart with spade suit KQ 965 heart 6 diamond suit 8752 club suit A54 South will force to game and spade suit A KQ 65 heart 6 diamond suit 8752 club suit A54 South will explore slam. The transfer gives the partnership plenty of space for any continuation it might have in mind. In contrast, the traditional bid of two spade suit as a sign-off over one NT means that the partnership must give up bidding space in order to make forcing bids that start at the three level. It is when South wants to sign off by bidding two spade suit directly that the smallest amount of bidding space is needed, but that bid takes away three steps two club suit, two diamond suit and two heart. Transfers, whatever costs they entail, tend to conform to the USP. Now consider competitive bidding. Suppose that West opens one spade suit, North overcalls two heart and East passes. South holds spade suit 854 heart 6 diamond suit KQ9653 club suit 854. Now, if 3 diamond suit is non-forcing all as well, South describes his hand and leaves the rest to North. If 3 diamond suit is forcing South must pass and possibly miss a good diamond contract. The three diamond suit bid takes up so much space that, if it is forcing, South cannot show a weak hand with a good suit. Again, after one spade suit, two heart p, South holds spade suit 854 heart six diamond suit KQ9653 club suit KJ4. Now, if three diamond suit is non-forcing, South must Q bid two spade suit to prepare a rebid in diamonds. The hand is too strong to bid a non-forcing three-diamond suit. But North's rebid, very often three-heart, may well prevent South from showing the diamonds below three NT. If three-diamond suit is forcing all is well on this hand, and if South has a heart fit and a good hand he can Q-bid two spade suit. In this sequence the Q-bid takes up minimal space, but how is that space to be used effectively when South has already shown a heart fit in a strong hand, regardless of the agreement on the forcing nature of three diamond suit or three club suit in this auction, there is a problem caused by the misallocation of bidding space. If three diamond suit is forcing, a good diamond suit in a weak hand is problematic. If three diamond suit is non-forcing, the ambiguous two spade suit Q bid may well prompt a rebid by North that preempts South's diamonds. The USP suggests that in responding to overcalls, a hand with at least invitational strength plus a fit for overcaller's suit make the highest level non-jump bid available. 
This frees lower bids to be used as natural enforcing, or as transfers, and the transfer buys space to show a weak, a game forcing, or even a slam invitational hand, just as do Jacobi transfers. So doing puts the bidding space where it is most needed, to complete the transfer and possibly to further describe the hand, and to make a natural, forcing new suit bid below the Q bid. Those who play transfer advances of overcalls usually agree that the transfer bids begin with the Q bid of opener's suit. Bids between the overcall and the Q bid may be treated as natural and forcing. Transfer bids are available to handle weaker hands with their own good suit. For example, after one heart, two club suit P, some play this structure. Two diamond suit is natural and forcing. Two heart, the Q bid, is a transfer to spades with strength to be clarified later. Two spade suit is a transfer to clubs, that is, a strong raise of partners overcall. Two NT is natural and non forcing. Three club suit is a limited natural raise after one heart, one spade suit, p. Two club suit is natural and forcing. Two diamond suit is natural and forcing. Two heart, the Q bid, is a transfer to spades, this is the strong raise. Two spade suit is a limited natural raise again. The point of the foregoing is to illustrate how application of the USP can make bidding agreements more effective, not to define an optimal structure for responding to overcalls. <laughs> 